What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. In this video, before you get in, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. As you can see, I got a haircut. Got it really short. So, um, I feel like I look pretty good today. <laughs> um, anyways, we're going back to Brooklyn because as you remember by the last video we went, we uh, didn't have a lot of time. So, we were kind of uh, restricted to just downtown Brooklyn in the Dumbo area, unfortunately, but um, it's currently about 10 o'clock in the morning, very cold day, about 35 degrees. Uh, the sun is as bright as a mofo, but um, we're still out here, and um, we're gonna head to Brooklyn. Yeah, it's a Sunday morning, so I should be at church. Uh, usually I do go to church, but God's not gonna strike a, he's not gonna send a lightning strike down on you for not going to church okay not to go to church every week so basically just the goal today is try to get to other areas so we're gonna go through park slope red hook um we're gonna go to little caribbean on church ave which is actually where there's a lot of um haitians and jamaicans and other people from the caribbean so it's a very diverse area and you can probably find some pretty good food there too uh we're gonna head around um we're gonna go through Brownsville. We're probably not stopping Brownsville because Brownsville is a pretty rough area, so you don't really want to stop in Brownsville. We'll probably head through East New York, which everyone says is bad, but East New York's pretty chill. And head through uh, Bushwick and then bed -Stuy. So, uh, and then we will probably go through downtown Brooklyn as well because we do want to use the Brooklyn Bridge to get out of the city. So, should be pretty lit, guys. All right, our first stop is Red Hook. We're over here and we're gonna be going to the General Ock. If you know who that is, um, on TikTok, it's a very viral um, deli owner who uh, who makes these crazy ass sandwiches. People request really crazy sandwiches. Like, I want um, a bacon, egg, and cheese with mozzarella sticks on a on like a Jamaican beef patty or something like that. So, they actually do pretty wild stuff. It is called Red Hook Food Corp on Clinton Ave. And we're so this is the place right here. Let's a little hoopty to be honest. Let's right actually go in. This is it, y'all. Yeah, Mo's not here right now, but um, I would like to be in one of the TikToks. But they do have their whole Akiway menu, which is actually right here. This is you can get some of those crazy sandwiches that you see he actually makes in the videos. But I'm just getting a bacon, egg, and cheese because um, can't really eat some of those big sandwiches that'd be too much for me but as you can see the never 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 part all that and the most important part about this deli is you cannot forget the bev i don't know what to get though you gotta get arizona come on this is new york <laughs> which one we want should i get sweet tea yeah why not that's my favorite kind i also like the green tea too this is the bacon, egg, and cheese we got right here. Very New York type of thing. A bacon, egg, and cheese. That's about as New York as it gets. So let's give it a try. Mm. Very good on a nice hot day. I mean, cold day. <laughs> it's not hot today, it's freezing out here. About a good 30 something degrees. Um, I meant the sandwich was hot, right? It's pretty good. And then they toast the roll, which they should. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. I give it a, a good four out of five. I actually made pork roll, pork roll sandwich the other day. Shout out to all the Jersey subscribers. Shout out to Jersey Drew, you know? But... Do I recommend you go out of your way? Not really to go just go to this deli. I mean, if you're in the area, if you're in Brooklyn, I recommend you stop by, but it's one of those places like if you're if you're living like Ohio or something like that, I wouldn't recommend you go to this place. You know what I'm saying? Just to be on TikTok cuz what if the guy's not even there, you know? So Pretty good stuff. So right now we're in Park Slope. As you can see, a couple like local shops and 
cafes and stuff, but not really much here. It's a very nice neighborhood, though. I mean, look, these places are really nice houses. Not very expensive. Alright, y'all. We're here in Little Caribbean now. See the sign for Church Avenue. And we're on No Strand, so... It's still a little bit early, and it's a Sunday, so not everywhere is open, but pretty sure we'll find somewhere to go. I don't know. That place looks like it's open. Then across the street, you can see a meat place where you can get cow feet, goat. Yeah, in the Caribbean, some countries tend to eat weird stuff so here I know there's a, um, a lot of Jamaicans, Haitians Guyanese too I haven't seen any Hispanics so I don't think there's a large Hispanic population here like Dominicans or Puerto Ricans. It's more like Jamaican, Haitians, black folks. So here's a sign for Little Caribbean. One of them is also one on Nostrand. And uh, we're gonna cross the church. I've never seen this before, but when you're in New York, you can see probably anything in the world. Somebody right there just slashed a NYPD vehicle. But I ain't gonna lie, the NYPD kind of deserves it. And I know that sounds crazy because I do have a lot of respect for police departments. I really do. And during the riots, I really did kind of side with the police because they were just, you know, being tortured by, you know, mad people. But the NYPD is a notoriously horrible police department and they're very well known for racially profiling. I think a lot of police departments are, but NYPD and LAPD are like the worst. I don't know about Philly. I think Philly's police department is pretty good. Look at that car right there. That's just totaled. I don't know why it's still on the streets. There's a tow truck right there. Look at this. I don't know what the hell this car is still doing on the streets. Look at that. This is the most New York experience you'll get. Taxi drivers are the worst drivers. I actually don't know why they're, they even drive, but I'm not sure if that car on my left, it looks like it's being towed for being illegally parked, because I don't see any damage to the vehicle. Like it might have been in one of the bus lanes or something, which people do all the time. So we're actually kind of out of Little Caribbean, and we're more in Little Haiti now. And uh, it's not really too, I haven't seen too many Haitian businesses, so I'll probably head back to Church Ave, because there's not much here, but um. So now we're on Church Ave. Like I said, it's pretty quiet today, at least for New York standards. Um, and it's still, still kind of somewhat full from that uh, bacon, egg, and cheese I had. There's a uh, a Trinidad restaurant. I didn't think about Trinidad. That's not really a country too many people think about unless they're from there. Cause that's another one. But I think the reason why there's not too many Dominicans around here is cause Dominicans and Haitians don't get along. At least that's how it is in the DR. Cause Haitians are a lot poorer than Dominic. Dominicans are a lot more wealthy than Haitians are. And um, they have a tendency to look down on them, which is probably why there's not too many around here. All right, the sun's a little bit bright, so I do apologize for that, y'all, but uh, this is what we got. Let me get the bag out of the way first. So we got jerk chicken here plantains, 
steamed vegetables, and then rice and beef. Uh, G R E W R. Yeah. Well, with space and then an R. Yeah. There you go. I do food reviews, um, driving, pretty much everything. Thank you so much. So this right here is the jerk chicken. Hopefully it's not too spicy because I, I can't hit really handle spice. So let's give this one a try. There's a piece of the bone in it. <laughs> yeah. Not super spicy. Actually it is. Some, some Jamaican places really uh, tone up the spice and others don't as much. This is one of those places that does. But it's a good spice because it's not super spicy, you know? It's just not burning my tongue. I can eat it and enjoy it. But you're going to definitely need like some milk, water, whatever. Got the steamed vegetables. Pretty good. So with all this, I probably rate it. Probably a good eight out of ten, seven out of ten. Pretty good. Listen. There's a rat. Only in New York, man. Look. Look, look. Damn. <laughs> look at this one right here. Look at him. Oh my god. Check out this car, guys. Look at that design. That is really cool. I thought we were friends. Unless the car is actually vandalized, but I doubt that. No, it's definitely a design choice. We're right here in Bushwick, as you can see. We went through um, Brownsville, East New York. Nothing really special there. Um, Bushwick is probably one of the most diverse, if not the most diverse, neighborhood in Brooklyn. It's very, um, it's very mixed here, and uh, I think it's up and coming as well. So, a lot of bars. There's a pretty big nightlife scene in Bushwick. And a lot of graffiti in Bushwick. Like, but, uh, there's graffiti everywhere in Bushwick, as you can see. Got graffiti over there. I've seen graffiti on houses, too. So you got more right there. That's everywhere in New York, but I think Bushwick is, like, the most I've ever seen in New York. Look at that old house. Look at it. That's one of those homes that would be ideal for a horror movie. I think it looks like it's going under renovations, but yeah. see what I was saying about Bushwick? Even on the houses here, they are, they do not care. They will graffiti almost anything in Bushwick. And like I said, parts of Bushwick are a little rough. And this is one of those parts. Right here is the Bushwick houses, as you can see. One of New York City's most infamous housing projects again. If this right here doesn't sum up Brooklyn for you, then I don't know what does. <laughs> yeah, New York, Brooklyn's gentrifying like crazy. Look at that. And you got an abandoned home right there, and then you got really nice ones everywhere else. This is Bed Stuy, y'all. Probably the most, no, Williamsburg's the most gentrified Dumbo area, but this is up there. But there's also a lot of Orthodox Jews as well. They're everywhere. So I guess what's straight. I want to make a point in going to the Marcy houses because don't want to step into that sludge right there. That's not even water, that's sludge. It's just random ass stuff. You got best, best size to mix of everything. You got your hipsters right there. You got the Orthodox Jews, the Hispanics, the Blacks. You got everything in bed style. And um, the reason why I'm in this neighborhood is because it's the birthplace of two of the most important, not well, not the most important rappers, but one of some of the most important rappers. You got Jay Z from here, and you have my boy Biggie. My Biggie's my second favorite rapper. Tupac's first. Yeah, I'm more into the old school stuff to be honest. 
lot of garbage, unfortunately. But that's New York City for you. Everywhere, every single person around here is orthodox. This is very bizarre. <laughs> Last notable location of our uh, Brooklyn tour is the Marcy Houses. You're probably looking at this place like that's just a regular housing project in New York. That's where I disagree. This is where notable rapper Jay Z was born. He grew up right around here in Marcy. So, right here, this is a tribute to him. The view is actually pretty good here. Got like a nice view in the background and everything like that. I'm not the biggest Jay-Z fan in the world, to be honest. He's not really my favorite rapper. I like his stuff, but he's, def he's definitely not my favorite. You know, he said life was hard for him when he grew up over here. And really from far away, the projects don't look too rough until you really look close and then you start to see all the shabby curtains and stuff like that, as you can see closely. But for the most part, except for maybe at night, most of the projects are pretty chill. During the day, it's mostly just people going about their life at night. You definitely don't want to be in the projects or walk around them. Especially some of the ones in Harlem, like St. Nicholas. Those are ones you want to stay out of, but. Seems pretty chill here for the most part. But we got to get the sign of Marcy first. Right here. Boom. Marcy houses. Respect to Jay-Z. Jay-Z, we love your music. And um, we're going to head out. We're back from Brooklyn. And by the way, um, you guys think I have a good Biggie Smalls voice? <sighs> to all the ladies in the place with style and grace, allow me to lace these lyrical tushes in your bushes who rock grooves and make moves with all the mommies. The back of the club, sipping my wet is where you find me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless all you guys.